In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Hyung Jung Lee and his basketball shooting form. Now, he is one of the better shooters in the NCAA this year, and I personally think that he could declare for the NBA draft, potentially anyways. He is currently shooting 43.6% from the three-point line this year, so let's get down and let's check out how Hyung Jung Lee shoots the basketball. Okay, so in this first clip, he does receive the pass from the post, and what we do want to look at first is his feet, and they are both pointing towards the rim, and something else that's quite interesting is his knees are also pointing towards the rim, same as his hips and his shoulders. He he is one of those squared up shooters that are similar to players like Klay Thompson. Something that is quite interesting is his shoulders in at least this clip do not line up with his knees and his toes. However, in a lot of other clips they do line up and he does have a very balanced shot. Now something that I do notice is in a lot of cl clips is the fact that his elbow does not actually line up with the rim or is on the same plane as the basketball. Usually you would want to have that elbow just a bit further in so that now his shoulder and elbow are in line with the rim and that ball is above the elbow. However, this is not what we see. We see that he does shoot the ball from the middle of his forehead, that is his set point, and none of his arms, in at least this clip, line up. In a few other clips, they don't as well. When he does go up to release that ball, however, we do notice that his elbow does slightly move in towards the ball which then allows him to have a straight shot he also does not shoot with a thumb flick like Steph Curry and when he does release the ball from other clearer clips he does release with a middle finger he also does have a hard release which allows that ball to have a lot more backspin so that when it hits that rim it's a lot lighter hitting that rim and he does have his follow through and his elbow above his forehead which will allow him to have a lot of arc onto his shot we also also notice when he does shoot the ball he does tend to jump forward about six inches now this could lead to inconsistencies if he does jump further or less in some of his shots but he does tend to be very consistent with how far forward he does jump and of course this shot does go in and we can really see this on his free throw shot where he does have the ball near the middle of his forehead but he does not have his elbow underneath that ball. However, we can see in this clip that his elbow is in line with his shoulder towards the rim. He does also leave his follow through up for a while. Now this is important, leaving your follow through up for a while because now if you pull your arm down too fast, that could affect your shot. If you pull it down too early when the ball is still in your fingertips, then at that point what could happen is you can then affect that shot going right or left or just not enough power. By leaving your arm up, you can stay a little bit more consistent. And we can see this here again, his shoulder in this clip is in line with his elbow but again the ball is in the middle of his forehead but he does hold that release up for a very long time very similar to a player like Steph Curry I wonder why that is he's also pretty good with his footwork being able to get his feet pointing forward towards that rim as that's how he shoots whether he's shooting from a set shot or off the dribble the only thing that's quite interesting is is he doesn't have to necessarily have his right foot in front to be lined up towards the basket and that is kind of a benefit from having the ability to square up towards the basket is you don't necessarily have to have your foot in front however when he does go to release that ball he does have that foot kick very similar to a Kobe Bryant Michael Jordan which they did shoot pretty close to squared up but they also were slightly tilted and you can see that in other videos on my channel but the reason why this kick forward is important right there that kick forward is not to get that foul call on that defender it's because his foot was his right foot which is the foot that you would want to have if you're a right-handed shooter to be in front of your left is because now you're going to be having your body really force that ball out towards the right side because your left foot's in front. But by kicking that leg out, you're now lining up your body, your right side, towards the basket, which will allow you to have a very straight shot. And we can see that here. 
Now, Hyung-Sung Lee is a very good shooter in basketball. We can all take a couple of pointers from his shot and incorporate it into our game. If, of course, you're having issues with your shot or your shooting percentage or your consistency. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you become a better shooter. I hope Pyong Jung Lee does really well in the NBA draft. I hope that he does get drafted this year. And I'll see you guys in my next video.